Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the fastest and easiest way you can rock rename elements within your Figma UI project using an exceptional plugin called Rename It. Imagine that you spend hours, spend days, months working on a project. And when it's time for you to hand over these assets to the developers, you know that you have to go through a very tedious process of renaming each and every layer. This is exactly where Rename It comes in. With Rename It, you can batch rename layers and add boards. You can use prefixes or suffixes to identify each and every layer, image, item. Icon. it just makes the process easy but now we have a frame in front of us and we're going to be using this as an example so we're going to be renaming the various product images under the latest product section and we'll do the same thing for the feature products so how exactly does this plugin work we're going to first of all select all the images you want to rename under the section then we'll go to the toolbar and we'll click on resources Click on resources and we'll come to the plugin section. So under the plugin tab, if you can't find the plugin, because this is the rename plugin, if you can't find the plugin listed out here, then you just need to type it renaming and just take note of the icon. So this is the one we are currently using. Now, how do we rename this? I'll just click once on the drop down and we'll select rename selected layer. So this is what I was saying. You can find and replace selected layers. You can quick rename. You can manage settings, but we are focusing just on renaming selected layers. So all the layers are selected. We want to give it a unique name. I'm going to click once. And here we can enter the name. So usually as a user experience designer, you need to have a specific naming convention for your various elements in your design. So it makes it easy for the developers to identify those items, especially if they have a lot of resources or a lot of elements to go through. So in this case, I'm going to use a custom name. Let's first examine the rename it pop-up here. You could give it a name, the custom name, this is what we're going to be using. You could change the sequence. You could use keywords. You could use layer name, layer width. Um, number sequence, alphabet sequence, the parent's name, and the like. So anything you want to use, these are all unique identifiers that you can use to rename your layers. But in this case, we're going to be using a combination of custom name and a number sequence. So since this is product images for the latest products, I will just call this latest dash products image thumbnail. So I will just use the short form and we'll give this number sequence in the ascending order. So it will go from one, two, three, four, five, and the like. So this is how you can rename your layers. And when you're done with entering that, you just click on rename. And you notice that under the layers panel, the names have changed to latest products. So which means that the images now have the name latest products. Let's do the same thing for the feature products. We'll select the images first. And we we'll come to the resources tab, click on rename it, and we we'll select rename selected layers. We'll call this featured products images, or let's say image term, and we'll give it a number sequence in the ascending order, the same thing. Great. So that is how you use a rename it plugin. So even if you want to rename your icons and you just want to use a specific naming convention, you want to add, let's say, prefix six, you can use a combination of the various identifiers in order to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of the plugins that are going to make your design and handover process easier.